Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis, and I'm here today with my friends... Steve Edelman. David Ahn. Now, all three of us are endocrinologists. All three of us specialize in diabetes. And Steve and I here have been living with type 1 since the age of 15. David does not have diabetes, so he's not as cool as Steve and I. But regardless, you must be wondering, what are these three really handsome endocrinologists doing together in a video? That's a really valid question for sure. So, Steve, what are we doing today in this video? Well, we are here today to show how quick and easy the insertion procedure is for the Eversense 365 Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. I volunteered to be the patient today and will have the Eversense 365 inserted. And I'll be doing the insertion procedure. And I will be here to provide clever, witty commentary and maybe tease Steve a bit during the procedure. We'll see. Now, before we get into it, if you want to learn more about what the Eversense 365 CGM is, I recommend you watch the other video Steve and I did where we go over all the features and benefits of the device in greater detail. So, David, you know, um, before we do the insertion procedure, as somebody who's done a bunch of these, um, give us an overview of what it's like for the patient and for the healthcare provider. So the first thing I will say is, if you're a healthcare provider, you do not have to do these insertions yourself. You can simply prescribe Eversense 365, speak to your Eversense territory manager, and they will guide you to the closest certified Eversense inserter to do the insertion and removal for your patients. The Eversense 365 insertion takes several minutes and is a simple and safe in-office procedure. Many patients even do it over their lunch break. The only prep they really need to do is wear a short sleeve shirt to the appointment. <laughs> Once at the appointment, the certified Eversense inserter will numb the insertion area, make an approximately five millimeter incision in the arm, insert the sensor, close the incision with Steri strips or skin glue, and that's about it. After that, the Eversense certified inserter will introduce the patient to the smart transmitter and the smartphone app. The patient leaves the office with materials to ensure their app is set up and that the transmitter is paired to the sensor and they'll be set for one whole year of accurate continuous glucose monitoring. Now there's one other thing I want to mention to all of you ACPs watching, and it's this. Depending on which transcutaneous CGM sensor your patients are using, they will save 26 to 36 applications per year with the Eversense 365, and this does not include the ones that stop working early or fall off. Frequently, with prolonged 10 to 14 day wear, patients experience skin irritation and rashes from adhesives. And don't forget about patients who experience frequent compression lows, which can lead to false alerts. Lastly, I want to share a few things that I do with the patient before starting the insertion procedure. Number one, ensure the sensor is placed in a location that allows easy access to the smart transmitter, as it will be in place for an entire year. Number two, Encourage patients to practice positioning the smart transmitter over the intended sensor site prior to insertion. Avoid positioning it too laterally, which could hinder the patient's ability to apply the adhesive patch. Number three, confirm the transmitter lies flat during arm movements to maintain connectivity by asking the patients to flex their arm. All right, you guys ready to do this? I am. Let's do it. All right, David, so I've got Steve here for you. I've tied him up. And at Steve's repeated, very specific request, I went to his house and picked up uh, Professor Barkington. Is that right, Steve? <laughs> um, for emotional support. Oh, yes. So he's going to be here very close, keeping an eye on you and keeping an eye on you, David. Um, so with that, take it away. All right. So we've already identified that Steve wants to do the procedure on his left arm. We've ensured he can reach it easily. I've examined his arm, and as you can see in this previous footage, the scarring from his previous two insertions are minimal and barely visible at all. I will be doing the entire procedure here today, but we may shorten it for time. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to use these betadine swabs right here to make the area semi-sterile. So now that the area is clean from the betadine, we're going to put on the sterile drape. There's a little window for where the procedure site will be. And this part is where I usually reassure the patient that even though we're going to cover part of the face, it's going to be real short and will be done very shortly. All right, so we've drawn up some lidocaine, which is going to numb the area. And I'm going to caution you, Steve, that this is where you're going to feel a little bit of a pinch and a burn. This is where the numbing medication kicks in. 
Well, this is where Mr. Barkington really, <laughs> really okay. earns his money. Did you do it yet? Yep, it's the numbing medications cool. in. Cool. So we gave a few minutes for the lidocaine to kick in and we're gonna do a quick test of sensation. So Steve, does this feel pokey at all? Does it feel sharp or just pressure? I don't feel, I don't, just pressure. Perfect. No pain. Great. All right, well, let's get started. So we're just making a small five millimeter incision uh, with the scalpel. And I like to do one poke kind of in one direction and lengthen the incision ever so slightly with by twisting the scalpel around. You're doing this kind of at the end of where the sensor is going to go. Correct. Uh, it's like the entry point, and that's marked out using the stencil. What's this fun little thing? So this is the blunt dissector is the fancy name for it, but we like to call it the blue tool. Very simple. And this basically um, makes a little pocket under the skin where the sensor is going to go. So we're going to just make a small little tunnel right here. How you doing, Steve? I don't feel a thing. Yeah? Doing really good. Blue tools in and out. So the pocket is created, and then we're going to use the insertion tool, and that's right here. And that has the sensor in it? Correct. So the sensor is located in the tip. Okay. To go back into that same cavity. Cool. Retract it, and then the sensor's in. All right, Steve. Wow. Got a new sensor. And then after that, we just hold pressure for a few moments for the bleeding to stop, and then we'll put on the stereo strips and the tegaderm to close the insertion. Okay. All right, so we um, held pressure for a few minutes and that just helps reduce bleeding after the procedure. And now we're gonna use stereo strips to close up the site. So it's, patients are always really excited to find out that there's not gonna be any sutures or anything like that. So it's just little stereo strips. You excited about that, Steve? Uh, nothing worse than my ex-wife taking out my stitches. <laughs> Good, a like little tic-tac-toe game. Yeah, and different people have different stay strip uh, application tactics. Um, and then this is the Tegaderm patch we're gonna put over it. And we'll take this part off. And that's about it. So how are you feeling, Steve? Feeling great. Awesome, let me help you up. All right. Yeah. All right, Steve, it's been a few minutes since we finished the insertion procedure. Still feeling all right? I feel awesome. David, I didn't feel a thing, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, nice you job, know? David. Yeah. So let me ask you some of the common questions that patients might have after the procedure. So first, how long should they leave those stereo strips on? So you want to leave them on until they fall off naturally. Okay. And when can they take a shower again? So you don't have to change your showering schedule at all. Uh, it's totally fine to take showers with this on. You just don't want to take a bath or do anything where your sensor or arm would be under the water for a long period of time. Did you hear that, Steve? No excuses. You got to keep showering. Ah. So and finally, what, um, what activities should be restricted? What can't Steve do or what should he modify? So no heavy lifting for the next five days. I know that's going to be hard for you. Uh, <laughs> and like I mentioned, no prolonged water submersion uh, for about five days. And then does Steve need any like specific post-op appointment with a provider? No, so the really good news is that there's no need for a routine post-procedure checkup visit or anything like that. I don't get to see you for a whole year. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> and remember, if you are a healthcare provider, you don't have to do these insertions yourself. I enjoy them and you may do that too. But if you don't want to do them, just talk to your Eversense territory manager and they will help get your patient set up with skilled healthcare providers in the Eversense inserter network. Well-trained physicians, NPs, and PAs that make up the inserter network will get your patients started on their Eversense 365 journey and ready for you to continue to manage your patients, but now with CGM data and metrics. So if you're interested in learning more about the Eversense 365 and how it might be a fantastic CGM choice for your patients, check out the website below. Now, through the magic of editing, we're gonna travel into the future and show you some follow-up photos and footage from the next several days to give you a sense of what Steve's healing process was like. Oh, cool. Could I watch too? Yep, it's coming up right now, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Post insertion day one, all good. Took a quick shower, no pain or soreness, and uh, everything looks good. Post op day number four, bandages starting to get loose, no pain, all good. This is now post-op day number five. No soreness, no tenderness. I've taken a few showers. The bandage is coming a little loose. 
and everything good. Alrighty, day six. And uh, so far, bandage is not coming off. No pain or soreness. Everything doing well. And of course, the, uh, the CGM, the Eversense, is working well. Showing me blood sugars every five minutes. Hello, folks. Post-insertion day number eight. As you can see, looks pretty good. I've been getting reading the whole eight days, but now I got the bandage off. And uh, I guess I'll see you in about a year when I need my next new 365.